I spent one entire week with porn star Reno Gold in Fire Island, the gayest place in the universe. People f***ing here everywhere. <laughs> it's me, Mario! Here we go! What's up guys, I fucking love you. Thanks so much for being here today. I thought it was time for another story time with Mario. Going to New York for one entire week with Jeff Kasser, my girlfriend Vida, and Reno fucking Gold. Who is it? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. One of the biggest gay porn stars in the world. Get your dicks out! Quick sound, is the microphone on? This is not right. This is what it's like shooting with is Reno. Is it working? <laughs> and sometimes we just walk into the room and Reno is just with his uh, doing this. Just another day, influencers in the wild. How do you do that, Reno? Yeah, so basically. <laughs> he takes Instagram reels all the time. All right, guys, here we go. Influencers in the wild. This is what's happening at Washington Square Park. But at the same time, Reno knows how to fucking party. So one night, we decided to go out for Jeff's 57th birthday. 57 years old. Let's go! Yes. And it was a crazy night. I first had a quick stand up show. I'm not gay, I'm European. Right? <laughs> That's what we do. Thanks for coming out to the show. Appreciate that. Jeffy's coming out. Bobby's coming out. I'm so proud of Mario. He's so funny. Beautiful. This is strong, guys. He came out to my stand up show in New York City. He's so funny. I paid him $10 to say this on camera. <laughs> and Reno got us a table at the box in New York City. One of the most exclusive nightclubs in the fucking world. We got a bottle of vodka. We got a bottle of champagne. We watched just some like freaky sex shows on stage. There was 15 inch black. It was yeah. beautiful. And then the very next morning, on like two hours of sleep, we had a car pick us up and drive to Fire Island. All right, how are we doing, fam? Reno's on how many hours of sleep? Um, four in the past two days. In the past two days. I've been flying from town to town. Reno looks so fucking beautiful. It's like a place where all the wealthiest gays go in the summer to just People f***ing here everywhere nice. Jeff, how do you feel about going to Fire Island? I'm a little nervous I can't wait to meet a bunch of lesbians You know what do you think is going to happen this weekend? A lot of dicks <laughs> Got some reporting live from Fire Island right now We have deers in the wild This is the most magical place in the world I saw some guys butt f over there. Do you think these are gay deer? What's your sexuality, current? It was like a sea of dicks every time I was stepped outside. Even the deer had dicks. How long is your schlong dong currently? Once we got there, I wanted to explore the energy of Fire Island. So we went out and I filmed a social experiment playing truth or dare with strangers in Fire Island. Let me motorboat you. Oh, sure. First time for everything though, right? Yes. <laughs> I love that. That's how we meet people here, you know? It's a team building exercise. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Any of you guys have a truth or dare for us? Dare. Come to tea with us. Come to tea with you. Alright guys, we're following strangers to tea. And I just gotta say that I've never felt this same level of openness in a straight environment. Okay, so truth or dare. Let's do dare. Okay, make out with me. Sure. A man's got needs. Let's sure, alright, let's go, let's go. Alright, what's your name? I'm Gerard. I love that we didn't establish that before we just did that. But then at midnight, we decided to do a quick photo shoot with my girlfriend on the beach. Do you like shooting naked yes, men? Yes, I do. Because nice. you have this thing that goes like, yeah. You're always such a sissy. I can't believe it. Perfect. It's like to get a cold shower, but it works. If you saw my Johnson, it kind of looked like a four-year-old. Mm -hmm. But still bigger than Mario Adrian. Do you guys realize how hard it is to flex your abs, but then also keep your package nice and full at the same time? It's not easy. And while I went to bed early to wake up for sunrise, Reno would just go to these crazy gay private parties every night. So, Reno, how, how was last night for you? Um, it was fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an orgy, basically. A full on orgy? <laughs> Were people just naked, just fucking in public? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I'm so happy you guys didn't come. And then it was time for a first photo shoot with Reno Gold. The first thing I did, I fucking went to the gym, pump up a little bit because Reno Gold looks fucking ripped. I mean, look at this guy. Also guys, in terms of my workout routine, I don't use weights anymore. The main thing I do is I use rings. I do body weight exercises, like wall walks, dips, more gymnastic stuff, and I actually learn how to do things as opposed to just pumping up my muscles. Absorbing the sun energy with my rectum. Yo, and guys, the coolest thing about this island is that everywhere you walk, it's just like on a dock and there's no cars here, so it makes it so f quiet. If you're into docking, this is for you. <laughs> and walking around Fire Island with one of the biggest porn stars in the world is fucking interesting because so many people recognize Reno from Pornhub. Do you think most people know you work here? Do you think they've all seen like a, a Reno Gold Jerk mm. I've seen? <laughs> 
There's the I would say. <laughs> I love watching your throat get pounded. I'm like, oh, you just, you just say you oh like my, my work. Are you in it? We know gold. Yeah. How's it going? I love your content. Thank you. Here we go. People recognize me. I'm always shocked. Like I'm like, wow. Like normally, it takes someone looking at my. And turning the rings around it. Be like, oh, that's Reno Gold. <laughs> Shooting with him is an interesting experience, right? The poses are different. That is pretty impressive, and that's gonna have to be censored also. <laughs> it's so funny because I felt like two worlds were blending. I come from the male modeling world, he comes from the porn world. <laughs> Give him that walk 3,000. Is that our thumbnail move? Fire Butthole Sunny. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna wrestle Reno Gold. Yeah, but I was a wrestler. wrestler. You were a wrestler? <laughs> <laughs> we're wrestling you too. And guys, I worked so hard. I did so many stand up comedy shows, so I wanted to treat myself with a massage. You guys, there's a massage place here. It's like a full service massage. If you want it to be. If I want it to be, <laughs> alright. It's Fire Island, baby, let's go. I know what you're thinking. Massage in Fire Island. That sounds like you're definitely gonna lose your virginity with a guy. Combines elements of restorative massage using firm and sensual strokes. Do you think it's gonna be like a, like a wiener massage? That sounds like a prostitution thing. I would say at least a wiener massage. <laughs> like, what are the chances that it's gonna be a schlong dong massage? I mean, it's a stroke, right? Basically anywhere in Fire Island, yeah. Phil went to get that massage. Is Phil still alive? Did he get jerked off? I think he did. <laughs> Fantastic. And I was nervous. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Especially if I've never gotten one from a guy before. What's life if you don't step outside your comfort zone every once in a while? <laughs> so I'm laying down there, a little towel over my butt, and I'm looking out the window, and this guy starts massaging me. Guys, I know that you know me as like an alpha male, right? I exude masculinity. I'm like Malik Delgadi. I don't bother. But when I had the massage, he touched my inner groin. I started giggling like a schoolgirl. <laughs> And after I met all the guys staying at this massage house, they took me to the rooftop after to watch one of the most beautiful sunsets I'd ever seen. That's why I like living life with an open mind. Sunset vibes, sunsetting Fire Island. Guys, I know this island is known for like gay sex parties, but check out this beautiful sunset. And in that moment, watching the sunset, I just realized how much I love my job. Creating art, I love creating photos. With my friends running around, just being free, I was happy. Look at me, that's me being happy. Fully happy, uninhibited. I want to capture my beauty. Look at this. And even though we experienced so much crazy stuff, my favorite moment of the whole trip was just being done with all the photos and having the most casual dinner. If I skip dinner, when I wake up, I'll find a new vein in the morning. <laughs> I'm not even hungry. I filled up on ass. You know what pissed me off what? when you reviewed my OnlyFans? I was like, I don't think his dick's that big. I think he just has a small torso. <laughs> I was like, facts. But like, why do you have to say it? There's a deer right there. Oh my god, it moves. It is moving. <laughs> I've never seen a deer up close like this. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm afraid of this deer. And I also had a subscriber come over who told me that I inspired him with my videos with Travis Bryan to open up and to come out. <laughs> so like four or five years ago, at least, I started following you on YouTube. And now, four or five years later, I'm here in Fire Island Pines, married to my husband. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. Okay, I need to say hi to you. Amazing. You pushed me out of the closet. So I pushed you, you out of the closet. That's, yes. that's amazing. Guys, we're doing the Lord's work here. <laughs> well, I, pushed, I pushed him out of the closet too, trust me. Yeah, both <laughs> and I'm so grateful being able to have friends that I can create with because I would want to be friends with Reno Gold, Jeff Kasser, and my girlfriend even if we're not creating videos together. Even though I'm not making YouTube videos with Travis right now, we are still best fucking friend and I'll always love him. Uh, most of the people who come here, they can express they, themselves the way they are. Yeah. Mm, there's so no, that's yeah. the point of the Far Island, I guess. There's no judgment. What happens in Far Island stays in Far Island. Yeah. I didn't participate in any crazy gangbangs, but I was met with so much openness, love, and hospitality. And guys, I'm gonna shoot a video today in New York City asking strangers to guess my sexuality. So you can vote right now on Versus if you think people are gonna guess straight or not straight, and you can win real life money with that. So go to Versus right now, link's down below. The video's gonna be up next Tuesday. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next Tuesday. I've been flying from town to town